Does the gable edge of an eave require a fire rating? What we're talking about is this bit shown in red. And when we're talking about the gable, we're thinking, often thinking of a gable roof and gable end, but the question really is, is this part in red a wall? Because the FRL, of course, is applied to a wall. Well, it is a wall because it's an extension of that which commences at the ground level. And as the NCC definition of external wall says, it's the outer wall of a building, which isn't a separating wall. You can, be considered, you can consider this to be a somewhat narrow definition, and it's relevant that we can satisfy ourselves further by looking at other sources of information. I like to keep a copy of a particular handbook with titled Glossary of Building Terms on my desk, and it describes external walls as something enclosing the sides of a building. And that is exactly what those parts in red are doing. They're enclosing the side of the building, and in addition, they're in the same plane as the rest of the wall. It's therefore appropriate to consider these as part of the wall. So the rest of the question about FRLs becomes the next thing to consider. 3722 says that an external wall, which we've already established, applies to these parts in red, must comply with 3724. And 3724 requires external walls to, among other things, have an FRL of 60, 60, 60 in certain circumstances. And note in 3724A, it includes gables and by extension, the areas in red in our example. Therefore, the areas formed by the eaves of the roof and the gable end are all part of the wall. And if 900 millimetres from within 900 millimetres from a boundary or 1800 millimetres from another building on the same allotment, they of course require an FRL. Mm -hmm.